Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Shilendo, and today we're playing some more Galactic Civilizations 3 in our tutorial series. This is episode 2, and we're going to be going a little bit faster in this episode because we only made it through one turn, and I don't like that. So, we're going to be going faster. Um, normally, when I have two planets and I have both planets that are going to be doing production, I would put the shipyard between those two planets so they don't experience decay. However, these two planets are going to be producing so much production with our specializational trick we're doing. Um, we're gonna have one. We're gonna need to have one shipyard per planet because it's gonna be a waste if we have both of them pointed at the same shipyard. So we're gonna leave this shipyard down here. We're gonna build one at Madras later, um, and we are going to go ahead. I think we're gonna go ahead and take a turn here. We're gonna send this one down here. Make sure everybody's going in the right direction. Yes, turn. Now you'll notice Madras has uh, three turns to make a factory. We are we do have them all the way over at manufacturing. Um, I generally don't rush the factories because they're coming out fast enough as is. But if you are really 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 wanting to rush the uh, colony ships out faster and get the whole production line going, feel free to rush these factories. I just I really want to have this money available to me to rush the research lab and get our research going because that's with the strategy I'm playing here. That's the thing that goes the slowest early on is the research. So, going to go ahead and keep turning. I thought I zoomed this out. Turn. I hate when it keeps zooming in like that. That's very annoying. Stop doing that. Never actually tried to do this, but I, I would I would rather be able to stick it on this screen. That way I could see all the planets and everything. Uh, anyway, idle ship, idle ship. So, we're going to go... Uh, we can go either up this way and then come back. You know what? There's probably going to be a planet here. I want to start from the bottom and then come around this way. And that way I'm closer to going up this way in case... I mean, if there's no if there's no race up in this area, that's just golden because I'll get every single one of those stars because no one else is nearby. So I'm going to go... I'm going to skirt along this way and I'm going to, I'm going to curl up and go towards the north. Go from inner to outer is a good way to remember how to scout. If, whoa! Jackpot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, huh. Yeah. Uh, my mouth just watered a little bit. That was cool. Let's go ahead and. Uh, wow. Um, we could we could assign Madras to be a sponsor and get those get these co uh, colony ships out, but we don't have to. You may notice once I open the the shipyard, I created two more ships. A constructor and a cheap colony ship and I did this because the regular colony ship has all this other stuff what I did with this colony ship I'll go ahead and go to the designer with it um, with this colony ship all I put on it was one module just one colony module no life support no engines um, no double colony thing because that just increases your cost if you just put one module and have that be it it's extremely cheap, and you can churn them out faster than everybody else. And that's what you want. If you're going to be trying to really outdo everyone else, that's what you want. Remember, you have to resume your shipyard in order to start producing anything, which I just forgot to do, if you notice. So, one, uh, two turns for a colony ship. If I were doing a, um, a regular colony ship, it would take, you notice, three turns. So, I'm getting something in two turns that would have taken me three turns. Now, this cheap colony ship, the one downside to it is... It can't really get long distances, which means we're going to have to build a star base between here and here, which kind of def it, you may think that it defeats the purpose, but I still feel like it's worth it. Um, alternatively, I guess we could, instead of building that, I guess we could build the first one be a regular colony ship. Or, I mean, I don't really feel like designing. You could design one with, you know, a life support module. Uh, this one should get us far enough. Eh, no. Nope. Nope, changed my mind. One constructor, one colony ship. Gonna stick to the plan. I did the same thing, by the way. If you notice, I did the same thing with the constructor. It's not, there's no, you know, extra frills or anything. It is basically just a ship with a, a constructor attached to the bottom of it, and that's all it is. Um, so we're gonna go with that. We probably wanna make three of those colony ships like that. And then we see what else we can get uh, from the north here. See if he finds anything. Nothing over here, it looks like. Uh, the scouting strategy down here needs to be here. Then here, here, here. 
and then we'll probably have to go down. No, no, we're going to go this way. The shortest path is this way, right, left, left, and then down, and then covering these. I, I feel like this is going to get fairly unscouted, which makes me kind of sad. Um, yeah, we got to go from inner to outer. It's got to go this way. Huh? Got some random uh, minor race down here. Oh, there's our first constructor. That's going to be put down... I would put it near this thing, but I don't think I can get it close enough. We're going to put it down here to make sure we can extend our range far enough. How about... How about right about here? That way we can extend it to the right as well. Maybe get one of these planets over there. Continuing right along. Madras, Madras by the way, is focusing completely on building... Um, their factories. We're not having them sponsor the shipyard yet. Uh, when I load my colony ships, because population just really doesn't matter to me uh, at all, I, I lowered the population bar all the way down and use that as my amount of things I want to, amount of people I want to send on the colony. Um, Paradise 16, bread basket. Yes, we're going to go for that one. That's outside our range. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to here, and then once that constructor gets down to about here, um, we're going to be able to extend the range and get to at least one of those planets. And then that colony is going to extend the range even further. So that's how we're going to spread down there. They found nothing there. Oh, planet. Planet found. We need another uh, colony ship after that. Colony ship, can you go? Nope, colony ship can't reach up there. So we're also going to build a constructor to go extend up that direction. This whole cheap colony ship idea is not working in the way that I originally intended. It's actually costing me more. It, the, normally you have some closer end planets and you, and they're just close enough to where that strategy works pretty well, but it's not the case this time it looks like. Um, this scout needs to go somewhere else. He needs to go over here. Another colony ship, another .5 loaded on. And we'll have them go down in that direction as well. You may notice that uh, the plus move that we got on the racial trait is going to help us get to where we're going a lot faster. Oh, I got another planet up there. Going to need another, wrong button, going to need another colony ship. Now, if I want to push those faster, you notice that they're taking two turns. I don't want them to take two turns. I want them to take one turn. So it probably would be beneficial for me to grab a couple of these basic factories. Normally I get them soon enough. I get that going soon enough that I can have those going in one turn. But that's not the case this time. So Serenity now is going to get rushed. Idle ship up here. Uh, you can go up here. We're going to change our scouting plan a little. Oh, nice. And then from there we can go over here. This, this is turning out really well. Turning out really well. Have another one or two over there. Okay, another colony ship loaded with the minimum. Going down here as well. Idled colony. Okay, uh, Madras has nothing to do because we haven't researched Zeno. We haven't, you notice that turn one technology we started researching? We have no research points, and so because of that, it hasn't got completed. So we can now turn them over to be a sponsor to the shipyard. Or we can create a shipyard for them. We're going to go ahead and create the shipyard for them. And they can start producing something uh, as well. Base factory will go and rush that as well. And I have run myself out of money. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Got to be flexible. Flexible. Um, so yeah. Idle ship. Uh oh. We got Thalen down here. So I don't see any other star systems. They're probably going to get everything down here. I could really be aggressive and try to colonize down here. Um, that might not be a bad idea. Force them not to be able to come up this way. And then we'll go over here and see what's over in this direction. Uh, yes, a sign for this new shipyard. We want to sign Madras. And all Madras is going to be doing is military unless i have it shut down in which case it does all social if it's doing social it's going to be doing economic stimulus because it's going to help us get money so we can buy those research labs on the research planets um now 
Got a shipyard. What are we going to do with it? Well, we can help out building those colony ships. We can build two here. And we can build one less there. That should be about right, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, we're probably going to find at least one more planet. So, yeah, that that's fine. It's fine the way it is. And we may have to, we may also start producing um, star bases as soon as our factory planets get completed the way we want them to. Um, oh, that one's not mine. I haven't looked, that, that color is almost identical to mine of that ship. Um, we can see what's up here and then we can come back and come back down that way. Or we can see what's over here first and then go up that way. That's probably smarter. Um, let's see, idle ship. Here's the constructor, and we're going to send that. It needs to go, since we got a constructor going down here to extend this area, we're going to have to have one going up here to extend to this area. Um, let's see if we can get it close enough to actually get that Durantium inside its zone of, of control. Idle chip. Okay, the constructor is ready. I want to make sure he's close enough. And then build star base. I forget how big those. Yep, those zones are pretty sizable. So yeah, it's uh, we were well within range. So we're gonna send one of these colony ships here, the closest one. Next closest one's there. Next closest one's go there. This is gonna be a research system. So it's gonna be all research all the time. And then up in the top right, we'll decide between like research and economics and basically just decide based on what we have available. It's probably gonna be two research systems, and then we'll find a. a fourth system for economics is the current plan um this can't actually there normally i have to always take the mining ring but there's nothing to mine in the area so we can go ahead and go with a culture ring i don't really like using star bases for military it just it's never worked for me really so going culture on this one another colony ship let's go ahead and send them off to somewhere Send them off to right here. That'll be to colonize there. We'll have one colonizing there, one colonizing there. Basic factory. Let's make sure we keep. If if you're if you're actually paying attention to the game, try to keep rushing your. Um, when you're not building your factories, it's fine to rush your factories if this is something you need to do. And in this case, it's something I need to do. Idle ship. Okay, we got plenty more range now. I feel like I needed another scout. We could probably turn out one more scout having go to the right. In fact, that probably would have been smarter for me to do early. Did not do that. At least one extra scout would have been helpful. What does this do? This is uh, cargo. No, don't need that. Don't need that. This is the one, I think. Yep, scout. There we go. And he's going to go to the right. Should have did that at the beginning of the game. Didn't. My bad. Another colony ship. This one's from Madras. This one's going up here to this one. Colony ship two. Colony ship one. Is this... Are we all the way over? Yes, we are. And here we're building another base factory. Can't afford, so I guess we're we're stuck right now. Distant gaze. You, you're the, my new scout, aren't you? Right there. You're going over here. One, one reason I don't like building an extra scout is that their range is usually pretty limited unless you throw on like a uh, life support module. So I usually just, I don't even build them early. Colony ship. That one's, oh, found it. There's a fourth planet up there. Sweet. This one's going here and this one's going up here. And I think we can turn both of our shipyards off now. Shut down. And shut down. Okay. Now now check this out. One turn per factory. That's what I was saying was going to happen eventually. Uh, we do have the um, Intimidation Center. I don't really like these because I feel like they take up a valuable spot on a planet. And I, just, uh, I just don't like them. Just don't like them. Next. Idle ship. Yep, you're going to go down this way. I don't actually, I actually don't need to go that far. I don't think we're going to colonize out that far away. That'd be silly. But I do want to see what's over here. 
Looks like he's building, uh, Thalen's building a constructor, constructor going this way. We got a scout going over there, and we got another scout here. Let's send you up there. It's like, colony ships, scramble, go, go, go. Uh, Madras is working on economic stimulus. We don't really need that at bads badly as we could use some constructors. So we're going to go ahead and build constructors. Resume, build constructors, and we're going to have it be an auto-repeat. So Madras will now be building constructors, which will then go to this system and these planets and this planet and also mining star bases everywhere. So we're going to need a lot of constructors. Colonize. Oh, we discovered Terrans and some other minor race. This one, do I want tourism? Do I want tourism or do I want tourism? These are minus approval. I don't really care about tourism. We're going benevolent on this one. Uh, this is going to be a research planet. We decided that already. So we're going to go here, 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 here. This one, 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 this one. And we're probably going to get rid of these um, deposits later on because they're not really going to help us at all. Player achievement, one per player. Neat. Okay, turn and... Okay, those are all working. Those are going to where they're supposed to go. Um, yeah, we're doing good. How's our power compared to um, these other guys? It's going to be better. It's going to be better soon. Population growth, influence, approval, productivity, malevolent is blah. Uh, I like this pra uh, pragmatic one. Plus 10% to productivity. Yes, please. That'll help us. Uh, I believe this will help us. Yep, it, it helps offset that unproductive. And it'll help us get our research laboratories built sooner. Okay, cool. And the first one, of course, is rushed. So, awesome. Uh, this one is idle. We need to go up here. Oh, there's another planet. Um, can we get over there? Let's look and see if our range. Our range is not going to get over there. I'm. I mean, I could go over there. Yeah, why not? I'm greedy. <laughs> you got to play greedy in this game. You just got to do it. Uh, Serenity now is still building factories. Madras has nothing be else better to do. So we're gonna and we're gonna use them as our constructor junkie. Okay, this one is going to go, and we're going to try to extend the range of our colonization over to here because I want to see if I can colonize anything over there and over to here so I can colonize there. So let's go ahead and hit, hit one here. We're going to need a lot of constructors. It's going to be insane. Um, what do we got going here? This is... Oh, they're finally done. Okay, they're done with all the basic factories. Have not completed Zeno industrialization yet. So, this shipyard is going to be used, and it's going to be con producing constructors like crazy sauce. One per turn. Yes, colonized planet. This is going to give us... Oh, 50 economy for negative 50% uh, population growth. Yes, please. Uh, makes me wish I had economic buildings already. Gonna build these, 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 and these. Oh, these here. Come on. I'm clicking you. You know I'm clicking you. There you go. They'll get started. I don't have enough money to rush any of these research laboratories. This is kind of what I was worried about, not having money to do this, but it's fine. It is just fine. Found another planet, and they need to go over here. Probably help out that scout. Figure out what's going on in this direction. Hopefully we don't, we don't find anybody over here. Idle ship. This ship is idle. No. 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 Oh, yeah. You're idle. Okay, you can go here. Outside destination range. Oh, we got to build our constructor. That's right. All right. Um, let's build... If we build right about here... Yep, that's close enough. That'll get two planet, two systems, or two planets inside that um, zone of, of control, and we'll just build the star base there. Idle ship, another constructor. That's gonna go. 
let's go ahead and capture these um, resources down here, this Durantium here and here with star bases and here so that the Thalen can't get it. Because if they get it, uh, I, I just don't want to have to deal with it. Okay, let's go down here first. Let's see if we can get all these planets and the Durantium in the same zone of control. Whoa, where's the idle ship? There, there's one. Okay. Idle ship over here. Cheap colony ship. You're going over here. This one is going here. This one's going here. And this one's going here. And we're about to have a lot of colonies. Uh, this one gives us plus 50% in research. Yes, we, we definitely want that. This is a horrible planet structure because there's not a lot of adjacency, but it's fine. It's still going to be producing a ton of research. There, there. There, there, there. Okay. Upgrade Starbase with a mining ring. Always, always, always. I always use the mining ring. I just don't have any desire to use anything else, really. Um, idle ship, another constructor, huh? Yep, we got tons of those. Let's build this constructor up here. Capture those. And this as well, this planet. And we got another ideology point, And that'll be... Oh, malevolent. I thought it was going to be pragmatic. 10 points to spend. 20 points here. 10 points here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and spend this on the plus 10 total production for malevolent. And that's going to get us um, free production on the home world. So home world gets plus 10 to its raw production, which is great. And we still have those 10 for each of those other ones. Um, so check out Serenity now real quick. Uh, 35. So we just added 10. So it was 25. Now it was 35. So it just went up um, like 33%. So, or is that 50%? 50, I, I can't do math right now. It was like 90 and now it's like 147. How about that? Um, cool. So you see where we're going with this. Um, I'm going to continue teaching um, about all this stuff as we continue on in these episodes feel free to come back to the next one feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this and thank you for watching and remember keep it clean